smoked yeah, look. Now there's another yeah, color on here called yeah. smoke, and that is purposely yeah. meant to go even darker in the crease. And so I'm going to get a little more concentrated uh, crease yeah. brush. Yeah. Like almost, a, I'll get a pencil brush. Yeah. That's a pencil brush. And I'm going to call it go into this <laughs> color smoke. Now, I could have just not used this at all, but I do like a dark color in my outer um, corner. And a smoke color would be good. Not just the word smoke meaning the color smoke, but to smoke it out, meaning a gradient in here, right in the crease. And that will cause this to look a little darker. And I'll also make this outer V with it. And it's a little darker right in the crease. And it's because it's a pencil, it's very pointed. And so now you see a dark, a medium dark. A transition and a light and that's what smoke does it's dark at the base and it lightens as it goes up and that's why they call it a smoky eye when you do gradient color it doesn't mean it's the color smoke you could do a smoky eye that's the color navy or greens or you know rust colors or whatever you like a lot of people think it's just a smoke color so I'm going to do this outer V you see there's the beginning of it and then I'm going to go right in the crease and stay just in that crease. Do not come up at all. And that dark color, you can see dark, medium, transition, highlight. But you can still make your little V. I'm making a little V out here because I do like this to be a little darker. And then I am going to blend that out a little bit. Yeah, that's it. Okay, also you could use your pencil brush. Some people like to. I like to use a smudger brush underneath my eye. And I'm going to use that same smoke color for underneath my eye. Um, or you can use, some people like to use a liner brush, a brow liner brush. I like a smudge brush. And where in the world is it? There it is. That is a Sigma. It's my favorite brush. E20. And you can use it for lining because, look, it's skinny this way. Or you can use it for smudging because it's um, wide that way. But they're very short and tight packed. So I'm going to go back into that smoke color. Actually, I'm going to mix that smoke color with this color in the middle called Lash Line right there. And it's, it's um, more of a gray-brown, almost a charcoal. It's not total black, though. And I'm going to go right through the lash line, literally. Not under it, go through it. And then I'm going to stamp it right there at the base of the lash line. And all that does is just fill in. Little smoke and a little lash line. And you don't go under. You start over here and literally go through the lashes, right through them. And all that does is fill in that skin tone. Whatever your skin tone is, it will darken it so that you'll look like you have more lashes. And I also stamp that right at the lash line on the top too. Just kind of make sure your eyes look like you got mascara on without any. And for this day and age when we are working from home or you're doing um, zooms from home, you can't even see the mascara online. So this looks like a mascara look without it. I mean, I literally could stop here. Of course, you need to blend. <laughs> I haven't blended at all. Um, what are my thoughts on this palette? I think this is a fantastic palette or I would not have bought it at $62 or $65 a pop. I would not have bought one for y'all if I did not think this would be an excellent product to win. Because I thought, you know, it doesn't matter what someone looks like, this color tones that they have on their skin, this would go with any. This would go with any color tones. It's a beautiful palette. Frankly, it's lovely to look at. Great colors. And also, it is um, held together by magnet. And it's a very substantial, thick um, palette. If I was going to spank her, you'd be now. But I don't spank her. That's probably half the problem. No, you don't got to spank her. Um, but we do have to be clear. Enough of that. Missy Poo. Aw. She went and sat down. Um, it also has a very large mirror. So this is a great palette. I hope y'all love it. Uh, because it, um, you know, the finish it has is so pretty, it's going to show up your, fi your um, fingerprints. So I will take my little cloth here. And wipe that back off so it'll be pretty. And because I have all that skincare product on my hands, it's very smeary. Because it, well, it was moisturizers and stuff like that. But that's the end look of it. So now, last but not least, blendy blend. We have to blend. Okay, so 
what some of you are going, what do you mean blend? You get a fluffy brush and you want to make sure there's nothing on that fluffy brush. Like here's one. Just use your cloth. Like here, this needs to be cleaned, I know, so I'll just tell you all. Here's my little cloth. It's like a little wash rag. I only need some one of those microfiber cloths. And I'm just doing it in a circle, make sure no color's coming off. If there's color, that means that you need to go wash that. Afterwards, you didn't wash it last time, which I do this sometimes, and then wash them at the end of the week. And I've shown y'all before what I like to do for washing. You'll find my video on that. Okay. So, now it's a little clean brush, and all you're going to do, you can put that transition color back on here, but I'm not. I'm just going to get right here at the front, make sure there's not a line there. Whoops, a little hair came off. Hair is off. And you're just blending that color out so that it blends in with your skin. That's all. When you go to this transition of an area, it's very important you don't over blend. I don't care what people say. Some people blend as they go for that very reason. I don't, but I just do a light and quick blend to make sure there's no line. And then I kind of roll this and get this edge real good. And I'm done. One of the things I like to do, this is just me, you don't have to do this is I like to also kind of just with my finger get that right there to make sure there's still, even after I blended, no line right here. And right there, you see how when I blended it kind of went out a little? I use the meaty part of my hand and just go past that a couple of times to make sure I blend that out on my skin so that that's not a real obvious line either. You see the difference there and there? Um, again, when you blend, you're going to lose some color, which is good. If you want to do that again we're just blending the lines out but if you've got too much on blending is where you can lose some and if you feel like you're not losing enough then go back and use your transition color as a blending color it will take that down a little bit and that's what transition colors are for transition colors are usually light taupes light sands just whatever it is that can kind of help the color transition to the next color without really adding a color but it's usually in the same colorway of what you're using. And, of course, we used browns today. Except for the lid, we did use some pink. And then we used our highlighters. Under the brow was more of a gold, and the inner corner was more of a white champagne color or a vanilla color. That was more of a gold champagne. This was more of a vanilla. And I'm done. I do like the palette a lot. I think it's a beautiful palette. Again, if I didn't think that, I wouldn't make it a, the giveaway palette. So I think you're going to love it. Um, all right, so now that we've done all that, got to do some liners. Oh, we got to use our spray. So I will try first the flaw Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray um, from Charlotte Tilbury. This I bought full size, which is why I got those nice uh, samples. And we will only do one side. We'll do this side. I'm going to shake it just to make sure the product is and Stay away from that candle because even though it's water-based, I just want to be careful. And so... Did I blush? I blushed. I contoured. Yeah. Okay. That's her. Smells fantastic. And this is the Clarins Fix Makeup. Long lasting makeup hold. Let's get it. Oh, had a little pretty gold lid. And we'll do that on this side. That's Rose. Right off the bat, I don't like it because it's rose. So if you like rose, you're going to love that. <laughs> um, thoughts. I will not buy this. Uh, for one thing, I don't like the smell of rose. For another thing, this is, feels very wet. Um, the, but any of them are going to feel wet, but this feels very wet. Very wet. And I, even if it does help it dry down better, I don't like that feeling. Like, I feel soaking wet. To be fair... Let's try the Charlotte Tilbury again and see. Maybe I didn't put as much on over there. You know, I'm sure it is just as wet. It doesn't feel like it, though. Also, do you notice anything about this side versus this side? I feel like this has got a little more luminescence in it. Both of these are expensive. Can I tell you all something? I feel like I have just as much luminescence from the flower seal the deal. I feel like this is it's going to be le less expensive and I just feel like it does a really great job of um, that is way too orange <laughs> yeah, yeah it was um, I feel like this is just um, I don't 
don't know. I feel like this has got more of the seal the deal look. This is a little more luminescent looking to me right there, especially through here. I don't know. It does there too, but um, I don't know. Which do y'all like better? This side, which is Charlotte Tilbury, or this side, which is Clarins? And I am going to put just right in the center my seal the deal. And see how it's very luminizing as well? I feel like this is closer to this. This is a much more expensive, luxurious kind of thing. This is just less expensive, but I still feel like it's pretty luxurious, y'all. So, we'll just keep both of them. Um, this one just really feels wet. Maybe I didn't get enough on to make it really opalescent. Feels wet. And it's so wet that little droplets came out. <laughs> oh well. So we'll see. We'll see how this dries down. Um, and now my hair is wet. That's See, that's what I mean. It shouldn't make your hair wet. That's too wet. So where's my little, my little pieces? There they are. Look, they're wet. They're soaking wet. Which makes them easy to um, make some pretty little curls out of it. <laughs> there. Okay. So that's the deal without putting on... Um, my liner, but y'all know that I will always put on a liner. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's give us a little wing out here. Maybe a couple. There we go. Little wing. I feel like it never does as good on this side, y'all. And it's because I'm right-handed, and so you put more pressure down. I'm trying to a little less. Hmm. 